The reason why I'm making this video today is because I feel that a lot of us have to get back to Christ. And we're all just socking Jesus in the face. And what I mean by that is we have to understand the things we do for the things he done for us doesn't really line up to his approval. You know, I, I love Jesus with all my heart. And, you know, just giving my life just giving my life over, just surrendering, looking back at my life how I was before and looking at my life now. Just knowing that he died on the cross for all of us, not just for me or certain people, for everybody, people that hated him, spit in his face. Non-believers, those that laughed at him. But see, the thing is, Jesus knew this. But he still died so that we can live the greatest obedience of all, the greatest sacrifice of all. And for all of us who say that we are Christians, we stand for him, walk with him, supposed to be imitators of him. It seemed like it's now just becoming of ourselves everybody posting like like really how many people that you know that's fully committed to just doing the lord's work like just posting biblical stuff uh breaking down scripture praying everything they talk about revolves around christ not about what this celebrity doing what this rapper is doing what this YouTuber is doing, what this TikToker have done, what, what, whatever silly trend that's happening or whatever that just happened on the news, you know, they run right to the camera to talk about that, to break that down. Or when somebody, and this is the problem, when somebody that's in the world does something and stand up for something, a cause, oh, they get the praise. You know, they want to talk about that. But... Let's talk about if this person is saved. Do this person know Christ? Is this person standing for Christ? I understand they done stood up against the vaccine or they done stood up against something or this rapper or this NBA player or this celebrity done stood up against something the government is trying to push. Okay, I get that. But is this person willing to stand up for Jesus? I love Jesus with all my heart and I just want to it's 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 so astronomical because it's it's it, when I think back at it it's like kind of all with me you know I'm going to take you back on a testimony that happened to me where the police shot at me 45 times and they missed when I was young growing up you know living in that lifestyle me and some buddies planned on to rob a place but um, we were just casing the place out, you know. So I guess an off-duty police officer were telling us, said we look suspicious. So I jumped out of the car when we got to the place. I just jumped out of the car, you know, just to walk past the place. Police just came, shot at me like at close range. This is me. This is the police. And they shooting at me. 45 times. And this made the newspaper. I'm not boasting about it. I'm just telling you my testimony. And they shot at me 45 times. I just seen bullets flying at me and just sparks coming at me. And I just stood there like, and I'm still in street clothes. Like, I'm, I used to look good. You know, I used to, it was all about fashion. So I'm still in my street clothes, you know. And they, I just seen vans and they were jumping out of their cars and stuff. And the cars were still rolling, crashing into each other. I'm like this. And they just boom, 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 boom. And but the crazy part about it is, you know, my mother, she's a she's a, a prophet. Y'all can probably see her on my videos on here. She's preaching. Um, she's not a pastor, but she, you know, she preaches the word, you know, um, prophet is in that. Um, and I'm pretty sure that if you scroll through, you will see her name. That's my mother. You know, um, she was praying and she was always praying. And she tell me, come in the room. And I was like, no, nah, you know, I, you know, whatever. 
That's a laugh at her because she's speaking tongues. I should be like, that's, what are you talking like that for? Whatever. So one day I just went in the room and I laid up on her and she prayed for me. And the next day, that happened. So again, and I got a lot of testimony. So that's why, you know, I love the Lord. This is why I try to do what is right by him and give my life to him and do, you know, whatever that I can. Because, you know, he is our savior. He's my savior. And he's done a lot for me. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I'm in this position that I am in. And a lot of people take me wrong because I speak bold or I'm raw. I'm blunt or how, you know how my metaphors are, are how I come off, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big old teddy bear. I love people. I put people before myself. Um, you know, it's all about, it's about the people. I just want people to get the understanding of Christ and be able to experience what I experience. The miracles and just being blessed and just being happy. Even when I'm going through, I still feel good. Even in my darkest days, it's still the best days. I have inner peace. He have really redeemed me. And for Jesus to die for us, we we have to, we should live all of our life for him. Go hard in the paint for him. That's what it's about to bring people together. Yeah, Christians got a bad stigma about each other fighting each other. We do. All other religions really can get along with one another. But when it comes to because it's all about who can preach the best? Uh, who got the most followers? You know, who's interpreting the word or supposed to go like this and that, but it's really no unity or no love there. And somebody going to say, watching the video, but why are you attacking Marcus Rogers? And you know what? I don't attack nobody, but I expose people. And, I, I, and, and this is the part I don't understand. If I'm trying to help you from being mistreated then why you don't acknowledge that matter of fact why are you even getting in the middle of it? that's the problem why are you even getting in the middle of it you're acting like a republican and the democrat supporters how they do how they against each other so if i do have a dispute with marcus Ryder, why are you going to come to me and then try to uh uh talk all crazy about me and, and instead of saying you know what brother maybe you and marcus should just talk you know i do feel your point or whatever the case may be but whatever the case may be, you don't come attacking me but that's the problem. Because it's not about the principles of the of, of being biblical. But the point that I'm making is that we gotta stop socking Jesus. Because when we go against what he what he has done for us, it's like we're hitting him. We're hitting. When you fighting somebody, you're trying to you're trying to hurt him, and you know, and he just like, but yet he took our infirmities up and you know, he carried our sins and everything for us, he did for us, took all that baggage, took all that pain, that hurt. But we can't even walk for him, stand for him, get on this camera and talk about him. Like, just completely, just constantly, every day. It has to be about something else because of a trendy topic. But I just, I love him so much, and I do. And I just pray that you all get to love him like that because I know what he's done for me, and he's a good God. You know, God is good. And that's just love, just allowing his only begotten son to die on the cross for our sins so we can live. And I guarantee you, Right now, that any of you won't die for your friend, family, or some of you won't die for your children. But Jesus died for us. And I love everything about him. I do anything for him. I live my life through him. Meaning that I try to live, this, live my life the best that I can with the principles that he has set. The words that's in that Bible, I apply it. And I go hard in the paint after people who are misleading other people or people that are using the word of God for their own personal gain, people that are fabricating, people that are lying to the people, things that need to be exposed. You know, that's what I do. And that's my job. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I think Marcus Rogers would be an excellent 
leader. Put his heart in the right place because he's for the love of money. If he get away from that, he'll be great. I wouldn't even make videos. But see, the reason why I'm making videos going hard and pay because I know what he's doing. I know what a lot of these other pastors and, and these bishops and everybody else who's scheming on people. I just want to bring people to the understanding to say, hey, look. But the point of it is that I want to draw people back to Christ, to the principle. Stop stop uh, following everybody else and follow Christ. Let's get back to the love of that. What, you know, whatever happened to following him instead of following the world? We have to understand that every, the reason why we on social media is because of him. Everything that's happening right now because of him. And I do anything for him. Because I love Jesus Christ. I love him. I love him wholeheartedly. I love him. So I just wanted to make this video just to say, hey, we got to get back to Christ. We got to, we got to love on him, guys. We have to. We have to really set the example that he really wants us to set. And do what he asks us to do. Follow the instructions of that Bible. That living Bible. Understand God decrees. You know, repent. Pray. Study fast. All those things is beneficial. Doing the deeds. Do as much as you can for your community. Try to help those that's in need. And let's come on one accord. But remember, when we go against the word, when we go against everything that we know what we're supposed to be following, we're socking Jesus in his face. But we saying what you did wasn't really nothing because we're going to do what we want to do and how we're going to do it. That's how you did it, but that's how we're going to do it. But it's not supposed to be like that. Let's show our respect to Jesus and say, we thank you. And we're going to live as righteous as we can. We're going to do whatever that we can for you. For you. Not for nobody else. Not for your family. Not for your kids. It's the only way to get to the Father through the Son. And, and that's a deep, deep, deep. That's another whole other video. Because that's deep. That's how much we're supposed to praise Jesus. That much. In order to even get to God, we have to go to Him. And that's where it starts. And it don't start with ourselves. Let's start loving on Jesus. Because He loves us. But mostly, let's start loving on ourselves. Loving on each other. Getting back to that. Because we are one in Christ. We're on the same mission. We're on the same page. But those that try to go outside the word of God and do the things that they know that's not right in their heart for themselves, then it's, that's when you have to bring that out. That's when you have to expose that. Because you don't want others to be misled by that because you don't want others to fall off the cliff behind somebody else that's not doing right. You're supposed to stop them from falling off that cliff so you try to put a blockage there and say, hey, look. Because that's love. If I didn't love y'all, I wouldn't care what y'all do. I wouldn't care how much money you give in Marcus Rogers. I wouldn't care Nothing about you. I wouldn't even be wasting my time on this on, on this YouTube trying to talk to you. If I didn't really care, if I didn't love you, I wouldn't even try to, the knowledge that I get, I would try to hold that. I wouldn't try to share with you. I don't know you. But I do it out of love. And I do it out of love. And it's real love. It's true love. It's authentic. It's not counterfeit. And I may not give you the same love I give my family, but I love you in a way that's my brother and my sister, meaning that, you know, I care about you. And that's the main key here. I care about you. Just like he cared about us. Take that into consideration. God bless you.